Hello again guys, 13DMNM here with another tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. Thanks for watching my videos again guys, so this time I'm going to show you how to show how your bullets hit on the ground or on the wall. But if you don't have an idea, just keep watching, you'll find out. So first, just like, get your media. Let's see one from my previous video. This is footage from my previous video, so let's just see which one. Oh, this one. It's where I get the wall gets hit and I dodge it. Like right there. Just dodge it. Hits right there. I'm just gonna shorten that up. With press B for the blade tool. Be right there. Just A for the pointer again. Just delete the rest of it. And just go down to your film. See? Here's the bullet. Yes, so this footage you can get from DetonationFilms.com and most of the footage is free. This I got free from Detonation Films. So th uh, this one, which is the ground exploding from the bullet. So first we're just going to use this one. So drag it in where you want it as a picture-in-picture -picture thing. Uh, right there. Just cut it where you want. Press B, cut it right there. And uh, right there. Just press A for the pointer and delete the rest of the stuff. Just drag it where you want it more. Uh, right there. So then you just see this. Yeah, it doesn't look good, so we're going to change that actually. So go to video effects, go to keying right here, and press keyer. Just drag it on here. So it might take away some of the color, but it's not perfect. So what you do is come over to the inspector right here, and press this button to show it, and press this one right here to show the original color. And here in refine key, you press sample color and just drag up a box right there then after that you just press this one and view the first one and see it's perfect now it shows no white at all so then you go to this one so it shows the outline so you can shorten it or whatever you want so and move it to so right there maybe make it a little bit bigger yeah that's perfect yep yeah that's good and now we need the bullet noise okay so I already have that just I got it from soundtrack pro which I got from Final Cut Studio 7 or you can download any gun sound effects online so you just put that in but you want to alright so it's fine like that. See, if you can see, I don't know if you can, I just put it right a little bit before the bullet hit starts because you don't want your gun sound right when it hits. doesn't sound natural. So just before it starts, your clip. See, that looks better. The bullet sound, the gun sound might have been too early. So just move that of however much you want. That was perfect if you didn't see. Well, that's for the wall hit, and now the ground hits. Here, my brother's like trying to dodge the bullets. So, just go down to your footage, which is this one. Just drag it in wherever you want. He, like, he dodged one right there. Right. So then again, first you want to cut up your footage. Press B for the blade tool. And right there. And 
find right there. Just delete the rest of the things. Just drag it where you want. Right there. And get to Kier. Just drag it on there. Get in the expect ins inspector, sorry. View the third button, sample color. Just draw out a box right there. The first button in view. See so you can see it. It doesn't show any other white. So then you want it there so you can see it perfectly. Then again, press this one so you can see the outline and just move it wherever you want. That uh, right there so it sees like he dodges it. Oh, that wasn't the part. Let's just move that over here. Right there. So you can see. Well, there you go, guys. And again, just put the bullet, the gun sound, sorry, before the clip so it sounds better. Thanks for watching, guys. This was 13 the M and the M and M here with a tutorial of how to show bullet hits on Final Cut Pro X. Again, the website is detonationfilms.com. Most of the footage there is free. The ones I used are free, but you can also buy better footage there. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.